And so we get prepared uh, to engage students with the instruments after finishing off breathing activities. It's important that we set up the embouchure appropriately. The embouchure is the foundation for all brass playing. It's actually what creates the sound of the instrument, not the instrument itself. Um, and it's comprised of many parts. It's the mouth, it's the jaw, and the lips. To be able to set this up properly, we want to return to those two uh, foundational elements that were introduced earlier in the text. First of all, we're always talking about allowing air through in large quantities of air. Second, we want to make sure that we're reducing tension. That happens by having the oral cavity open and relaxed, having the jaw uh, in a comfortable position, and making sure that the center of the embouchure, the center of the lips, stay um, soft and fleshy. A couple of different ways that we can set this up. And before you put the instrument on the face, I encourage you to have your students do some bowel shaping. I'd like everyone to say, ah. I'd like everyone to say, oh. Oh. I'd like everyone to say, e. You'll notice as you go through those three vowels uh, that the placement of the tongue, the placement of the jaw, and the placement of the lips change. E has a lot of tension in it. The tongue is very high in the back of the throat, the throat starts to close off slightly, and the lips become really tight, as does the jaw. On O, everything is very low. The tongue is at the, its lowest position, the back of the throat is open, and the lips um, are positioned with the middle of them being as warm and fleshy as possible. For most brass playing, our target is somewhere between E and O, that AH position. So everyone say AH. You'll notice that when you do that, the tongue is just slightly arched. You'll notice the jaw is just slightly open, and that the lips are um, uncontrolled in the middle. There's no muscle engagement there, but the corners are somewhat firm. Um, a second thing that we can do to help visualize that is have students place their hands on the side of their jaw as they go through those three vowels. Um, so we're going to go through the three vowels, E, A, and O. I want you to feel where your jaw is placed, and likewise, how the muscles in your cheeks are engaging. E, ah, oh. Return back to ah, ah. As you'll notice, the jaw is in a relaxed position. It's not extended down. It's also not clenched. You'll notice as you say ah, that the corners of your mouth are slightly firm. Uh, you'll notice that you say ah. Your tongue is slightly elevated in the back. It's not pressed down against the bottom of your mouth. It's also not up at your soft palate. This is a target that we're looking for when playing in the middle register of brass instruments. And we're going to be building on that in the next video.